I can attest to that is the introduction of land rights. In 1983, the New South Wales government passed a legislation banning Aboriginal people of New South Wales land rights. Uh, it was one of the, um, the most significant advances for Aboriginal people in the state, but it had a major effect on families, communities and individuals. It divided a lot of communities, it split families, because politics in any form of, you know, it just affects the people, it affects you unbelievably. So when it's introduced to an Aboriginal community, they might have been rock solid in, in, you know, and unified as a group, but with land rights, they became factions. So Lark Bruce was one that was affected by it, and so was the 113 communities across New South Wales affected by land rights. The government gave Aboriginal people the right to claim vacant crown land, vacant crown land, but a lot of that crown land was not worth too long. Right? Today, some of them are starting to develop them. How many years later is that? No? We're talking that land rights being granted in 1993, the claims are still being processed today. How many years later is that? Who's good at mathematics? Yeah, 20, How many? 20, 20. 26. 30. I like it. Was it 80? 1983, 26 years? 20, 26 years. That's right. 26 years <laughs> when, when people were allowed to claim Crown land. Right, right across New South Wales. So, you know, today people still haven't had their land claims processed. On one end they, they say, yeah, we're going to give you land loss, but they didn't say, wait, 